Hi everyone, so today I want to cover the topic of naturalization. Specifically, I want to dig into the concept of continuous residency as a green card holder and how this affects your naturalization application. Before I dive in, if you have any questions or you want to set up a consultation, please visit us at carboneattorneys.com. We have a button at the top of our website, click it, fill it out, and we'll get back to you. So let's dive in, continuous residency. So what this means is when you're applying for naturalization, you have to show that you've held continuous residence in the United States for the allotted time period. So if you're going with the general uh, naturalization process, that's five years. If you're going uh, down the route uh, via your marriage to a US citizen, it'll be three years. So what are we talking about in terms of continuous residency? So this is basically time outside the United States traveling. Have you spent a considerable amount of time outside the US, whether it's for vacation, visiting family back home? It doesn't really matter because intent isn't important here. It's really about the time you've spent outside the United States. So let's look at the two most important time periods that are gonna affect your naturalization application and your ability to become a US citizen. So the first time period is six months, but less than one year. So you've spent more than six months outside the United States, but under a year, you've not spent more than one year. So what you'll see here is there's what's known as a rebuttable presumption. So there is a presumption that you've broken your continuous residency uh, as a part of your uh, process towards seeking naturalization. So what does this mean? This means that you can rebut this presumption. So the government is saying, we think you broke your continuous residency, uh, prove to us that you didn't. So how can you prove this? One way is to show your ties to the United States, okay? So did you, have you kept your job in the US? Is your family in the US? Do you still have a lease, a mortgage, um, you know, mail going to the US? There are a lot of things that you can provide to show that yes, you were outside the US for uh, let's say seven months, but maybe you, know, you had a sick relative or you have a family business back home that you had to help run. There's, there's a gamut of reasons of why you might be outside the United States, but when it's less than a year, you have an opportunity to push back and say, no, I didn't break my continuous residence. In that situation, if you are successful, then uh, great, awesome, no issues, you won't have a problem there. If you are unsuccessful, the clock will restart. That's the five year or the three year clock. So you don't want to be involved in this situation because you had to start all over again. If you've been waiting five years to naturalize and you have to wait five more years, it's not great. Uh, you know, it's, it's a long period of time before having access to the benefits of being a U.S. citizen. So let's talk about uh, over one year. So you've left the United States and now you've spent one year or greater outside the U.S. Unfortunately, this will break continuous residency. There's no presumption here. So if you've spent that much time outside the US, it automatically restarts the clock. Now, the other issue here is when you spend a year or more outside the United States, you're at risk of abandoning your green card status as well. So you're not only uh, you know, possibly causing issues for your naturalization application, you're also potentially putting at risk your status as a legal permanent resident and green card holder. Now, let's say you know you're gonna be outside the US for a long period of time. There are uh, some very narrow exceptions that you can apply for uh, to help yourself out here. Now, the N-470 is a way of preserving your continuous residency, but it's got to be employment related. So you can't just file the N-470 and say, uh, you know, I'm helping out a family member or I'm just going there to spend some time there. It's not going to work. Uh, but if you do qualify for this and it's approved, you can go abroad for a year or more and you're not at risk of breaking continuous residency. Now, the other side of this and often coupled with the N-470 is an I-131, which is a re-entry permit. So this 
uh, you would apply for before you leave, as with the N-470. Um, and if approved, you're not going to be at risk of, uh, of being denied uh, re-entry into the United States. However, the I-131 does not preserve continuous residency. So if you spend a year out of the United States, you might have the permission to re-enter, but the clock is gonna restart on uh, on the continuous residency for your naturalization application. So that is uh, breaking continuous residency as a green card holder and how it affects your naturalization application. If you like this video and you wanna see more, please like, subscribe, double tap, and I'll keep making them.